So what we're going to do here is set up our static mix. And this is very important before we start adding any plugins into our mix. Now, exceptions to plugins you might have in here are instruments and guitar amp sims. I tend to render those down to audio, so I don't even have those plugins loaded up. But that's up to you. So let's jump in and start doing our static mix. If you've been recording your audio in and working with this track for a bit now, you might have some levels set and maybe even some panning set at this time. Now you can leave the panning if you think you have it perfect, but I do recommend setting all of your level faders to zero at this point. It just kind of makes things easier when we're starting nice and fresh and you can do the same thing with your panning that's how i'm going to start this off so the way i typically organize my tracks is i'll have the first track that i want to start to work on all the way to the left and then i just work my way across like that and i'm going to start with our kick drum here so let's just solo that That's fine right there. I'm going to leave that there. So now I'm going to add in our snare drum. So let's just listen to this now. All right, I don't mind that right there. Some people like to do a little bit of panning on their snare and we can do that if we want. I might just move it over. All right, that's okay right there. And I'll have to go into the timeline view so I can see a part that has some toms right here. And we'll bring those in. And the toms were already pre-panned before I did the mix down. So I don't need to worry about the panning here. If you have all of your raw toms laid out you might want to do some panning with them it does sound nice to have your toms panned that's actually okay right there we'll add in our hi-hats An important thing about the hi-hats is there's going to be some more in the overheads and in our rooms. So we don't want it too powerful just right here. And another important thing to note about doing this static mix is we're likely going to go back and change these levels later on. This is just setting our initial levels and we'll listen to the crash now. All right, so I don't think there is any ride in this song. So I'm gonna skip that and we'll go over to our overheads now. And the way I like to do overheads is I'll usually bring this right down and then I'll start to bring it up as I'm playing. All right, so there's our overheads and then we'll move on to our room one here and I do the same thing. I'll bring this all the way down and then start bringing it up. All right, we'll go to room two now, same thing. All right, so that all sounds good together right there. That will be our drum settings for now. So now I'll just move on to the bass and you can see I have two bass tracks here. These are actually identical and I do a little bit of dirt onto one of them later on. So I'm just going to mute one of them and I'll set the levels for just the one for now, which will set the levels for both.
All right, so that's okay right there. And now I'll move on to my guitars. And what I might wanna do here is just create a guitar bus. So I'm gonna click right there, go up to track, new tracks, go down to bus, and I do want it stereo. I don't need to worry about anything else except for the name here. So I'm gonna call it guitar bus. All right, so I have my guitar bus here. Now what I need to do is route my guitar tracks to this bus. So I do have these in a group and I just go to output, then go to guitar bus over here. And you can see it's changed both of them to the guitar bus. And what I'm gonna start off with right away is just panning these guitars. So I'm just going to pan this one maybe to there and pan this one equally over the other way. And now we'll work with the levels a bit. So that's decent for the static mix. We'll leave that right there. I'll go on to my lead guitar and I'm gonna have to go to a part in the song that has lead guitar in it. All right, so right here. Okay, so that's not too bad. And now I can move on to my lead vocals and we'll just go right to this. Actually, we'll go to this spot right here. You can see my levels are a little low on this lead vocal. One thing you can do if you have low levels that are too low, and I might not do that for this track because there is a part here that's a little loud, but you can go over to the clip here and we have this clip gain feature right here. So I'm just going to expand this a bit so you can see what I'm talking about. And if you just hover the mouse over this right here, click and then drag it up, you can see we're increasing the levels of that section right there. So I increased it by 2.2 dB. And now we'll go back in here. She said let's dance, but I don't know how to move my feet. She said just move, but I don't know what she means. Yeah, I don't mind those levels. So now let's move on to our backing vocals, which is the last tracks that we have here. So I'm going to again create a bus for this. So go up to track, new tracks, bus, and I'm going to call this BKV bus. All right, and we'll route our backing vocals there. Really easy to do like that. And I'm going to pan these to about there and there. So let's just listen to this now. She said, let's dance, dance. but I don't know how to put my feet. She said, just move, but I don't know. I'm going to go to a different part in the song. So we'll go back here and let's see, maybe we'll go right here. All right, so I think we've done our static mix here. So let's just have a quick listen to this, maybe in the chorusy area because the levels will be a little different there and we'll just make sure everything sounds okay. Then we dance, bop, boom, tripping over our feet in the room. And we rock, rock, rattle the roll. And I never seen a girl, never seen a girl, never seen a girl move like her before. Now we rock. All right, so that right there is our static mix and we haven't added any compression or EQ or anything. All we've done here is 
adjusted some levels and did a little bit of panning. And now we're ready to add some plugins. And I'm actually going to go through this entire mix, adding compression EQ to every single part. I'm going to do it in a video for you to watch, but it's going to be a members only video. So if you want to check that out, become a member. It's something new that I'm just starting on this channel and I'm going to have some really in-depth tutorials on there and maybe some other stuff. We'll see how this membership thing grows and I really appreciate if you do become a member. But if you just want to check out how to add plugins into Luna, click the video on the screen right here and I'll show you how to start adding some plugins onto your tracks. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.